All right, and hello and good evening, uh, college football fanatics and college football fans. Harry James Taylor here, and I will, uh, as I said, I will break down all the major, major conferences, Big East, ACC, and all this. Uh, as you know, I've already broken down, uh, as far as the Big 12 is concerned, I've already broken them down. It's time to uh, break down the uh, Big East, and since uh, I don't have a lot of time to go over every single team, and that much time, I'll just uh, go over the majority and the uh, 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 all the teams in the conference and uh, the, the top non-conference uh, opponents for the upcoming year for each conference. And we'll start with the smallest, and that would be the Big East, as far as right now is concerned. Uh, that would consist of the Cincinnati Bearcats, the Connecticut Huskies, the Louisville Cardinal, the Pittsburgh Panthers, the Rutgers, Rutgers Scarlet Knights, my favorite to win this conference, the South Florida Bulls, Syracuse Orange, the Temple Owls, and that's that's the Big East right now. Um, as you can see, and as you can see, and as you can hear, the uh, West Virginia and TCU were not involved in this. As you know, they are now barred of the Big 12, which is why this conference has taken much of, if not a huge dip off from uh, previous years. Uh, top non-conference games. The week one host, Kentucky from the SEC. They will host the Louisville Cardinal. Uh, that will be the premature game that everybody's going to want to watch in that league. Uh, the following week, there's a couple of them, uh, which includes number one, and Pac-10 favorite, in my opinion, Pac-10 favorite, University of Southern California, USC, will play the Syracuse Orange at the new Meadowland Stadium uh, in the Meadowlands. Uh, and uh, the Uni University of Connecticut Huskies, they will host ACC, NC State, and... Maryland, also from the ACC, they will play at Temple. Those games will all happen week two of this college football season coming in. Uh, week three, the University of Connecticut will be hosted by ACC, by ACC uh, hopeful champion Maryland. Um... University of North Carolina out of the ACC will be at Louisville. The uh, Pittsburgh Panthers will travel to a ACC hopeful, number 19, Virginia Tech. Uh, the University of Temple will be uh, at Penn State from the Big Ten. That will happen week four. Also the fourth week of the season, uh, the Rector Scarlet Knights will be at number nine, Arkansas from the SEC. Uh, Syracuse will be at the Minnesota Golden Gophers from the Big Ten. And uh, week five, the Cincinnati Bearcats will be at Virginia Tech from the ACC, number 19 in the country. And that will be at FedEx Field, uh, the home of the uh, Washington Redskins. Uh, so that's where that will take place. Uh, the same week, week five, University of South Florida will be at rival Florida State from the ACC. Uh, then they go into conference play. They jump out of conference play again in week 10. That's when the Pittsburgh Panthers will face number 24, Notre Dame from the Independent League. Uh, the 12th week of the season, there's two more, and they both happen the 12th week of the season, uh, University of South Florida will host ACC and uh, actually Florida rival and ACC competitor Miami Hurricanes at Miami. So they're going to be at Miami Hurricane from the ACC. And finally, the Syracuse Orange will be at the Missouri Tigers, formerly the Big 12 and now from the SEC. Uh, there are a couple of reasons why I like South Florida. Uh, South Florida could have won the thing. 
if it weren't for Pat, for now Big 12 hopeful West Virginia. Uh, they play all their heart, all their difficulter, more difficult bowl games uh, at home, except for Cincinnati, and I really don't think that Cincinnati has a lot coming back. Um, I think that South Florida has more coming back. So as I said, South Florida is my hopeful champion. And really, I also, one of the other reasons why I'm picking South Florida is because of what they're going to have to go through. They're going to have to go through a gauntlet in conference. And then, uh, like I said, you step out of conference and you play uh, your two big out-of-conference rivals from Florida. And they are big names. Florida State and Miami. So, therefore, that's my champion, South Florida. Um, so, that's it for the Big East. So, that means that South Florida is going to get an, a, a BCS invite one last time uh, before this thing all goes to heck and back with the playoff system. But that doesn't happen until next year. But you know what we have to do before next year? We have to end this video and get to the next one. So for the final time, the Big East Conference, I have South Florida getting the automatic invite from the BCS. Till next time, this is Harry James Taylor. Thank you very much, and Boomer Sooner!